Lagos International Airport resumes flight operations after removal of crushed dead body. Landmark criminal trial finds Argentina guilty of massacre of more than 400 indigenous people. Federal government begins cash disbursement to 76,107 beneficiaries. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo and you are watching TOS News 360. Flight operations have resumed at the Motila Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, after the removal of a crushed body on the runway. A source who spoke on condition of anonymity hinted that full flight operations have resumed after the runway was cleared of the mangled corpse of a yet-to-be-identified man. It was reported that the international wing of MMIA, Lagos, was temporarily shot in the early hours of Thursday after the crushed body of a dead man was found on runway 18R. The federal government says it has resumed payment of over 9.24 billion naira to 76,107 beneficiaries of the conditional cash transfer program across the six local government areas in KB State. The national coordinator of the program, Hajia Halima Shehu, announced this during a courtesy visit to Governor Atiku Bagudu in Berlin, KB. To development across Africa, three Italians and a Togolese national have been kidnapped in southeastern Mali. It was reported that the abductions took place not far from the city of Kuitala, which is about 300 kilometers east of the capital, Bamako. Those behind the kidnapping were armed and in a vehicle, an official was quoted as saying, at least 11 soldiers have been killed and nearly two dozen injured in an attack on a military base in eastern Burkina Faso. It was gathered that the wounded soldiers were taken to hospital and aerial support killed 15 attackers trying to flee after Thursday's attack in Majauri in Kambenga province. Three migrants have been confirmed dead and 10 others declared missing after the makeshift boat sank off the coast of East Central Tunisia. The boat which left from the coast of Serfax was with more than 50 migrants on board, all of Tunisian nationality, sank off the coast of this port city, said Jose Medin Jababli, spokesperson for the National Guard, the Tunisian Gendarmerie. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. Global business and sports stories after this timeout. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. A landmark criminal trial in Argentina has found the state guilty of the massacre of more than 400 indigenous people nearly a century ago. The Com and Mokoit communities had been protesting inhumane living and working conditions on a cotton plantation when authorities shot them dead in 1924. Until now, no responsibility had ever been officially acknowledged. A judge has now ordered historical reparations to be awarded to the communities. The International Organization for Migration has facilitated the voluntary humanitarian return of 148 Gambian migrants stranded in Libya through a return flight and another 45 through a commercial flight from Niger. This represents the highest number of Gambian migrants assisted with voluntary return in a single day since IOM opened a country office in the Gambia in July 2017. The 193 migrants who returned included 184 men, 3 women and 6 children. IOM's chief of mission in the Gambia, Fumiko Nagano, emphasized that the flight reflects the great work of the IOM's teams across multiple countries, who are always ready to support stranded migrants in need. Russia has unveiled plans to create new military bases in the western portion of the country, in what a defense minister, Sergei Shogu, described as adequate countermeasures to Finland and Sweden's bid to join NATO. In a speech on Friday, Shogu said the bid by the two Nordic countries was among several military threats that have increased in recent years along Russia's northwestern border. Talking business, Nigerians are set to enjoy faster internet services as MTA Nigeria Communications PLC and Airtel Africa 
invested a combined 208.56 billion naira in fourth generation network and other capital expenditure in the first quarter of 2022. According to the Nigerian Communications Commission, internet services in the nation currently predominantly run on 2G and 3G networks. It added that although 4G coverage is available to about 37% of the population, download speeds are still uncompetitive with nations in the same income bracket as Nigeria. Talking sport, Liverpool manager Jorgen Klopp confirmed on Friday that striker Divock Orji will leave the Premier League club at the end of the season. The Belgium international has not played enough matches to trigger an extension to his contract and has been heavily linked with a move to AC Milan. The 27-year-old has been a big part player since he joined Liverpool in 2014, but has scored vital goals including two in an astonishing comeback against Barcelona in the Champions League semi-finals in 2019. Origi also scored in the final that year as Liverpool lifted their sixth European Cup against Tottenham. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan African News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Thanks for watching.